Hey, how is it going everyone? Today I'd like to show you this Chrome, or in my case Chromium application, it's called Redium, and it is a EPUB reader. And it is open source, that's why I'm covering it, even if I'm not using it, because I use a, a dedicated software, it's either MuPDF or Zatura, which can also read some other formats such as PDF and other stuff. Anyway, if you use Chrome or Chromium, you can just give it a try, it's there, it's open source, so why not? So go to the web store and search for Radium, you will find here, and then you can just add it to your uh, browser, and then you will find it on Chrome, comma, double forward slash, and then apps, okay. There it is. Actually, from here, you can launch from here, by the way, or also you can create a shortcut. And what I did, I created a desktop shortcut. That I need this to actually launch then the application from my terminal without launching the browser. So if you want to do the same, maybe you can also create a shortcut, a shortcut, sorry, for, uh, for the application without opening Chrome or Chromium, you know. But first you need to to actually have the path to the to the to the Redium application. So in my case just create a desktop shortcut. Then what I want to do, I want to cat desktop and then Chrome many letters here. This is actually the shortcut, but as you can see, that's why I needed to create a the actual shortcut because this is the application name all right so you want to cut that and then you'll you will actually see the executable here the shortcut that you can create is this one okay so i just copy that and i don't need this part Control w then kanj so basically you need to launch chromium and then app id and this is the ID, all right? It's quite complicated, but that's how it is. I think it's probably different every time you install an application. I don't know what's based on. Probably if I uninstall and I reinstall a game, probably will change. I have no idea. Probably it's different for you. I have no idea. Anyway, it's something like this, okay? So you can launch it. And then as you can see here, it is the application. And as I said, you can just create a shortcut a shortcut to, to launch just this application. application. This is not a, a reader. I mean, you cannot like, uh, you need to download the EPUB files and then you have to add to this library, to this software. You cannot read uh, like you do in, with the PDF, you know. This is just a software to read the EPUB to, yeah, that reads EPUBs, but you first need to download them. So after you download them, just add to your library and then you can just, you have two different view style here, let's say. And then you can just open a book and there it is. This, by the way, I downloaded all of them from the Gutenberg, Project Gutenberg. I'm going to make a video about this website, another great website. Another one was open library, but I'm going to make also for the project Gutenberg, which has many, many ebooks. So there it is. You know, you can just read the book. You can go full screen if you want. No problem. And you, you can, by the way, change many things here, such as the background color. Okay. Or uh, text size. Or actually the the font you know Let me, okay there it is and then there are other uh, options here such as the layout you can like display two pages here display as a single page or as a continuous so it just you just scroll down I guess still have to try that and then the page width okay now you see what I mean so you can just continue page. So this is the entire book. You can just scroll scroll down and everything. So let me exit full screen in here. Let 
let me actually check the page width. Yeah, all right, doesn't worry now. It should be like uh, not so wide, but it's okay. Anyway, there it is. Nothing crazy, it's quite easy to use, easy to modify and everything. As I say, I don't use it, but I just give it a try. I use some, another program so that I can also read the PDF and other files. But if you like it, there it is. It's open source, give it a try. And if you use Chrome, why not? So you have an application that's easily, it's easily installed from the Chrome uh, uh, web store. All right, that's it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.